Om tam bukraya nun sharire Sali laguna kullu yakhire Bar gun khaqtler du pietsayape Allah khayale po khachukhlape Maqruwe makan Qatan kha pursa Tawak shaw tape Chto tat na musa Ha khilqan mutwa diu pidatan Su yana prashmak Datit ka umtan Itu tam qaran shukla beqaya Bal warda nisha kul umtanaya Sultan plave Good afternoon, everyone. How you doing? Welcome to the 101st commemoration of the Syrian Martyrs Day celebration. I would like to thank you all for coming out and joining us this afternoon. We hope that you will enjoy the celebration of our martyrs and leave here with hope, aspiration, and willingness to move the cause forward in demanding the recognition of a heinous genocide against the Syrian, Armenian, and Greek peoples. I would like to give a special thanks to State Assembly Member Adrian Nazarian, 
Councilmember Paul Kikorian, LAUSD Board Member Scott Schmerlison, and joining us in this commemoration. I'd also like to thank George Ecopoyantis and Anka for joining us on this, on this commemoration as well. At this time, I'd like for you to stand up and join me in welcoming our Syrian Scouts in the Pledge of Allegiance and the Syrian Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. Syrian Scouts one more time. That was a great job. Good job. Please be seated. This year's 101st commemoration is, is sponsored by the Syrian American Association of Southern California in conjuncture with our, our, our Syrian organizations here in the, in the SoCal region as well as our local Syrian churches from LA to Orange County. We, what we've done this year is slightly out of the norm. What we've done is bring a wide set of community members together to kind of pay tribute to those Assyrians and Armenians and Greeks that were lost 101 years ago. But to Assyrians, it's more heartfelt because it wasn't really 1915. It was 1933, and it goes on today. We feel these struggles in Iraq and in Syria by the hands of ISIS and other terrorist organizations. But what we want to say to them isn't that, yes, you are a terrorist organization, you apply these scare tactics to scare our community and our people. What we want to tell them, and very loud, is, I am a Syrian, I am strong, and I will always live. That is what we want to tell them. And for that reason, today should be a celebration a celebration for our people, for our tradition, and our culture. And for that reason, we have invited world-renowned singer and great guy, Ogun Bitsamo and his band to play a song. So if you can please rise and welcome Ogun Bitsamo to the stage. Let's get the celebration started. Thank you.
like to invite up our, our Assyrian churches and our Assyrian reverends and peace, priests, if you can please join me up in the stage and say a few words in a prayer, we would greatly appreciate it. We will pray our Father in heaven in the language of our Lord, same language that he used, which is the language of our people, uh, Aramaic or Assyrian language. أولان لخما سلطان اليوم أنا شكرا خوب إيك لدا بخنا شكرا خيابي لا تعلن السيناء لا بصم بيشا لقد لا رمن خيلا وتشدخت العالم ملكة ملكة ومارت مرابات مارو بارو قنيشو مشيخة جميع وخديو تشبوخ الشمخ قديشة وبتخار الرجوات وخانت شغلوا انكليلة سهدوتا بتخادر الشمخ قديشة ماريو آلهي أها أمتا وطنت لا سقيب ومغدرته بكل دنيا ها أمتا ديولت لا سهدة بألبة سهدة وتخاترت شمخ 
بديوم بدراينا هواري بيوخ بتخاتر بنونه هلا بياشن أخطينا هلا مقروه لسهدة بيته هلا شقينا اللي من إيده وبطابه وخ منه بمكل ماري وعليه لدن جون خصوان بقيامنا الأمتا هل خيل قبنونا لبناتا مقم الجبن وجوتابويات مقوي الإيطاة ماري وعليه ومضرا العطرا وهل خيلا ماريو علي قبلون البنات أن يتجدوا أديوم كليانا يؤرقد بطنهر طينا جكا بدماسي ماريو علي خامي أرقى بدقات أولى وتقادية هل هو خيلا هل هو خلمانا بدماكليلة دجمة مشوفة جانة ومدرى ما قمي أمرانه بداي أرقى قدش تضعاتر خيلو قدشة بطلابة بابا برونا روخ قدش العالمين مور آمين آمين At this time I'd like to invite up Mr. George Hocopiantes, Executive Director of the American Hellenic Council of California. One of the primary issues here in California, and especially here in, at the association that, that we're trying to do as a new administration, is we're trying to build our cross-community outreach. We're looking to build our, 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 our outreach to the Greek community, to the Armenian community, to any community that is willing to lend an ear, lend a an hand, and just to lend support. So at this time, can you please welcome me and welcoming Mr. Akubiantis to the stage. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to thank uh, the AAASC, and in particular, Mr. John Coriol for reaching out to the American Hellenic Council, as well as others in the community, and inviting us to take part in this important event. Today we stand together in memory of all the martyrs, all of the innocent men and women and children who perished senselessly in the earlier part of the 20th century. We stand in solidarity as Greeks, as Armenians, as Assyrians, bound together by a common history and a shared misfortune of being deemed unwanted by an oppressive government. In many ways, we are children born out of the same calamity, as millions of us around the world can attest to how hatred and intolerance have uprooted those from whom we are separated by just one or two generations. As you all know, in the final years of the Ottoman Empire, a deadly wave of nationalism helped facilitate the death and displacement of millions of people. In just a few short years, several cities, towns, and villages throughout Anatolia witnessed the destruction of thousands of years of culture whose histories would be rewritten without a single mention of the original inhabitants. In my personal case, my grandfather and his family were displaced from the city of Van. Somehow he and his family were able to take refuge in the home of their Turkish neighbors, a family of conscientious objectors to the violence that had torn their community apart. They were able to stay there until the killing subsided and my grandfather and his family would be able to go along their way. While there are countless tales of selflessness and heroism for some, a vast majority of those subject to state-sanctioned terror and genocide were not as fortunate. Of course, there are some who will question the utility of remembering and holding commemorative events like these. In my opinion, their attitudes are more or less cynical, and many of them will even flatly suggest, you know, it's better to just forget about it and move on. But I'm confident that everyone here understands why it's important to proclaim never forget in the face of such attitudes and to continue to honor all of the people who have fallen in those chaotic times. We have witnessed a world in which those who perpetrated the crime have been able to enjoy virtual impunity, a world that has seemingly moved on without justice for the victims of genocide and those who have fallen. It is a world in which Turkey, which rigorously denies its predecessor government's past and actively conspires to cover them up in the present, has now set its sights on eliminating another group of minorities in their country, the Kurds. History is repeating itself. The fact of the matter is the same atmosphere of hatred and intolerance, the same attitudes that facilitated the death in, so many, in which so many of our ancestors perished are alive and well in Turkey today. And we have seen in the past few weeks just how volatile and dangerous a place Turkey has become for just about any gov anyone the government has deemed unfavorable. Again, history is repeating itself. 
So for this reason, it is, in, it is especially important that we do our part to ensure that others are not subject to the same fate by honoring the martyrs, preserving the history, and holding governments accountable. In addition to remembering those whose lives were lost, we will continue to stand together to demand accountability from our leaders and from Turkey to make sure that history will not fade and so that it does not repeat itself. I stand here with great conviction that the language of justice is a universal one understood by all. I am proud to stand here on this day as an ethnic Armenian and an honorary Greek representing a Greek American organization uh, in solidarity with you. On this somber occasion, we bow our heads to the fallen and honor their memory. And, we, and in honor of their memory, we take this opportunity to continue to struggle against the injustices we see all around the world, especially in Iraq and in Syria. As Greek,